In any presentation on the fair, it's almost impossible to refrain from talking about urban renewal. While they are two separate functions, the business and political leaders of the Alamo City wisely found the method in which each could complement the other. This has been accomplished with such smooth efficiency that the average person of the community has come to think of them as one and the same. The idea of coordinating these programs was largely Mayor Walter McAllister's. For some years, San Antonio has had uh, an urban renewal activity, and uh, the city government was determined that one of the areas of urban renewal development would be the site where Hemisphere is today. Now, the site was selected uh, without any reference to Hemisphere. It was selected because this was an ideal location for the erection of our convention center and for future civic center or for park purposes and so on. And it was good land to acquire. Consequently, this was one of the areas that uh, the directors of Hemisphere, the trustees of Hemisphere, could consider as a location. There were several other locations that was, were offered and considered. But when they got through with it, they decided that this was the best location because if uh, certain of the buildings would be permanent in character, and they were endeavoring to have as many of them permanent in character as possible, why, that would be a fine heritage for the future of San Antonio. And so the trustees finally selected that particular location. Now, the city of San Antonio, of course, has to meet its obligations under urban renewal, but those obligations uh, would have been met anyway, irrespective of the location of Hemisphere, so that the city so far has not uh, committed itself financially to Hemisphere. The man charged with the overwhelming responsibility of renewing the urban areas of the Alamo City and with coordinating that program with Hemisphere is Winston Martin. He's executive director of the San Antonio Urban Renewal Office. Actually, our first introduction to Hemisphere was about the same time the people of San Antonio heard about it in 1963. Uh, we were invited to attend a joint meeting, and at that time, the discussion of Hemisphere and the possibility of its coming about was brought up. And they talked to us about several locations for the possible site. One was our Project One, which is adjacent to City Hall and, of course, near the Los Verde and Santa Rosa Hospital area. The other was that in our Del Alamo project, which we were just undertaking, which was a central business district project providing a site, and then they'd had an offer of some land for the hemisphere out near Lackland Air Base. I think the Rye, uh, Ellison Enterprises were the people that were making that proposal. And it was based on this that we were asked as whether we could provide a site for hemisphere or not. Well, when we found out that because of its temporary nature, just being eight months in length, that we could not uh, actually sell land to the interests of Hemisphere, then the idea came about that since we were providing for our site for the convention center in our Project 5, the Civic Center project, that very possibly it would be possible for the city to acquire additional land which would become a part of the convention center following Hemisphere and make an, an area available by lease to Hemisphere during that period. And so we went on this assumption that the city would be the owner of the land, would acquire it from urban renewal in keeping with the law, and then it would in turn lease it to the Hemisphere, a nonprofit corporation, for the eight month period. We started out with something approximating 85 acres in the total project, and then as other interests grew, such as the San Antonio Independent School District wanted some of the site, they talked about expanding La Vita, we ended up with 142 acres in size. Now, approximately 92 acres of this will be acquired by the city of San Antonio for public reuse. This includes the Civic Center and the site of the Hemisphere and in the park areas and the permanent buildings that remain after Hemisphere as a part of its development. Uh, the city is to acquire this 92 acres for something approximating two and a half million dollars from the Urban Renewal Agency. And in the process of this, of course, we have saved almost twice that amount in the acquisition cost of the city because of the possibility of writing it down by buying the lands and buildings and improvements and removing those. The city bought buy land, raw land from us in return. So it, it has been a good opportunity for the people of San Antonio to get something that's going to mean a great deal, we think, to their economy and certainly to our downtown area.